Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back for another OPTC video. And in today's video, we're taking a look at the Regroup Straw Hat Pirates event uh, on 40 stamina difficulty. Now, this particular piece of content isn't exactly tricky. It is a 40 stamina event, but I thought I'd throw four teams for you guys just to quickly take out this content and farm up these straw hats as they are going to be pretty required for the treasure map moving forward so the four teams i've put together for you guys today the first team we're going to be looking at is the shanks crew team shanks crew is amazing for this as a special bind is pretty prevalent and it's one of the big debuffs you want to get around as well as paralysis so we have shanks crew on this team we're running uh the free-to-play big mom the free-to-play treasure map zoro strusen and law strusen's really really good at removing the block orbs we have law in case we come up against brook and not yeah brook and robin on stage five and then we have law here to remove the paralysis with the captain ability of Shanks Crew, we can basically just remove the special bind easy claps. And then with Big Mom at the end, we get all of those buffs to take out the four uh, groups of Straw Hats on the final stage. This whole content is built around um, Dex units. So bringing as many strength units as possible is going to help you guys out. The next team I have is a complete free-to-play team for you guys. It is a mono strength team with Zoro as leader. We do have the Big Mom, the Treasure Map 1, uh, again, for the orb, the orb color affinity and attack boost at the end. Uh, we have the Kazuna Mori, who's really, really good for just a cheeky orb boost on stage 4 and 5. Orochi's here to remove the Paralysis, and uh, Rob Lich is also here to remove uh, the Block Orbs that get inflicted on stage 4. The next team we have for you guys is a double V2 Snake Man team. It does it very, very well, as red units are very, very prevalent. The um, This Ace here is very, very good for stage 4 to remove the Block Orbs the spe and the Special Bind, so make sure you get his Special ready as it's a little bit tricky to sort of um stall out but you can replace him with limited rare recruit sabo if you do have him or lucy if you want to call him that you could also use um anyone else that sort of removes special blind and block orbs i guess but it's not exactly the hardest piece of content as i mentioned so you probably don't need to remove the block orbs we have uso hachi here in case we come up against robin and brook once again for the threshold removal we have kobe for the for the end there he's going to remove uh, paralysis and then we have boa to remove the special bond at the end and with luffy's amazing uh, super type and special we can get an attack and an orb boost through both of our luffy's the um the big thing with this is as well you want to make sure that you have despair sockets you get despaired twice but it's only three turns of despair so you want to make sure that you can get rid of that you'll also come up against um zoro and chopper on stage five or you can come up against robin and brook the um, Zoro and Chopper will bind one of your units for like four turns, so make sure you've got um, some uh, bind removal there as well, as you do want to remove at least three turns and then just use your f uh, f uh, four other units to blast through that stage. Finally, we have Goldie Roger, and he's basically his entire batch with the help of Stampede Boggy. So we're basically just going to be using Rayleigh to remove the threshold if we need it. We've got uh, Neko to remove the special bind on stage four with the super typing roger we can get through the block orbs odin's just an absolute gun giving us a full board of one orbs and a crazy orb boost for this entire team besides buggy but the stampede buggy is going to be a goat at the end as he removes the paralysis and the special bind so they're the four teams um well three teams including a free-to-play team so with that let's hop into the content and let's see how they perform all right guys so the first team that i have for you guys in this video is a double shanks crew team now if you guys know me i'm always always clearing clearing new content with my boy shanks crew so on the third stage we come up against a bunch of uh wano swordsmen who actually give you the remove uh sound effects debuff for one turn so it's not that much of an issue there are two in the front that have barriers but as you can see like if you get them on a two-turn cooldown you don't even have to really worry about removing that remove sound effects if you have the marketer support you can add it to the shanks crew but i didn't want to add it just for extra damage on to stage four, we come up against Usopp Nami, who give us a full board of block orbs, and we come up against Sanji and Frankie. So what Sanji and Frankie are going to do is they're also going to special bind us as well, but with our Shanks crew leader. We don't have to worry about that, as Shanks crew's captain ability removes that. Frankie and Sanji also give you despair, but with the sockets, you can actually just remove it, uh, as I think it's only a two or two or three turn despair. But... With this particular team, I brought Strusen. Now, Strusen can remove Despair if you don't have sockets, and he also gives us a full board of recovery orbs through block orbs. Then what we can do here is use the Shanks Crew switch ability to get an attack buff, and with that, we should just be able to take out the Straw Hats here because we do have color affinity, as we are running pretty much a full red team. Moving on to stage five now, we come up against Zoro and Chopper. Zoro and Chopper are a um, a Dex unit, and they bind 
one of our crew members for four turns, two of our crew members. Now, you can actually get another interrupt. It's not always going to be Zoro and Chopper. I think it can be like any of any of the four. I haven't run the event enough. So, basically, what we're going to do here is we're just going to stall out the uh, one turn of Bind, as it's really not that significant. Uh, but we did bring Zoro on this, on this particular team purely because um, you can come up with to an into an interrupt where they have a threshold by two turns. So that's why we brought the Zoro here. So we're just going to use the Zoro special just for a little bit of extra damage as we don't actually need him moving forward into the final stage anyway. So we can just easy clap our way through Zoro and Chopper there. I think the other one was Robin and Brook possibly. But once you get to the end, you come up against basically all four of the ones that you sort of fought throughout the fight, throughout the event. Um, they're going to bind our specials for four turns, I'm pretty sure, but with Shang-Chi, obviously, that gets removed. We get despaired, but again, with sockets, we can just blow that away. And then we get the normal attacks only. Finally, Brooke and Robin are going to paralyze us for four turns, I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure it's four turns. Sorry, this is uh, the first time I'm clearing it on the Zero Stamina as I am at work, so um, it's taking a little bit longer to get through all of these particular things <laughs> so five turns five turns of paralysis but with our lord unit here we can actually just remove all of the paralysis then what we can do is we can use our big mom special big mom is going to give us all of these nice fancy buffs then we can actually switch with our shanks crew even though we are in the quick variation we really just want to give uh big mom and law some strength orbs and then we can use their specials to get a 3.5 times chain lock. With all of that, we should have heaps of damage to take them out. Because of the color affinity that Big Mom provides, we are running pretty much a full dex team. And as you can see, the Straw Hats kind of just melt. So this isn't particularly hard content. So there are a lot of units that you can use to get around all these particular events. If you, When you kill all these guys, they give you a whole bunch of debuffs and stuff. But if you just kill them all in one turn, like... It doesn't really matter. So that was the double Shanks crew team. It does it fairly easily across the board. Um, no real issues there. So moving on to the next team now, we have a full free to play team for you guys. So this team is a full dex team that utilizes a friend Shanks crew. The big sort of debuff that you actually want to like sort of get around here is our special bind. So as long as you can get around that, you, you're pretty much you Gucci. Um, with Shanks crew, he's going to just remove it as a captain. So bringing him as a friend captain works really, really well, even though he doesn't get any boost from the Zoro. So we are going to start the, the, the attack patterns with him pretty much every single time. And then that way we can sort of just get around all the nasty defects. So on stage four now, yeah, stage four, we come up against Usopp, Nami, and Sanji, and... Frankie. So what we're going to do on this particular stage here is we're going to switch with our Shanks crew so we get an attack buff. And then we can use our Luchi special here to uh, basically just randomize all of our, our block orbs into either Int, Quick, or Strength. And as Shanks crew, we can get the Quick orbs matching. Then what we can do here is we can use our Moria special. He's just basically going to give us a full board of Strength orbs. And then he's going to lock those orbs for the next turn. Then what we can do is we can just do our normal attacks here. And we can just blitz our way through these guys here as we are running basically a full red team besides our friend captain. On to stage five, we come up against Zora and Chopper. It could also be Brock, up uh, Brock, Brook and um, Robin. So if it's against Brook and Robin, they have a threshold. So that's where you want to use this Zoro special. But if you come up against Zoro and Chopper, they are going to bind your crew randomly for one uh, for four turns. But it goes down to one turn with sockets. What you can then do here is you can use the Zora special for some damage, switch with your uh, Shanks crew, and then use the Shanks crew special to get basically a 3.5 times chain lock and just destroy them even without your um, your units down the bottom there. Onto the final stage, you come up against pretty much all of them, which is a bit annoying, but it's not the end of the world. They are all dex units and they despair you for three turns but with sockets it goes away so make sure you have maxed your sockets out as it is fairly handy the other debuff you want to get around here is paralysis so for this particular team we are using the coliseum orochi the one that has just dropped on optc global as he removes eight turns of paralysis but you can also run someone like um uh, coliseum enel he works really really well but i thought i'd use orochi here as we um 
we just got him on global and I figured now's a pretty good time to be using him. What you can actually do is too, you can actually save one of the um, the Zoro specials for this last stage so you get a higher attack boost for your red units. But as you can see, just with the big bomb special, we have so much damage that we can actually just take all of them out, easy clap. So that was the free to play team. It does it very, very well. It does it very, very comfortably as well. Um, as I mentioned, this content is only 40 stamina, so it's not overly hard, um, but just getting around that special blind and paralysis is your big issue. So onto the next team now, we are running a double snake man team. As you guys can see, I sort of thought I got to hit the recorder um, when we got to this particular stage. But the problem with this is, is because we are running a full strength team is it's very hard to stall out for your specials. The idea of this team here is we do want to have our ace special, the one that came out with um, Whitebeard. He came out on our anniversary on Global at some point. I can't really remember when, but he came out on over to see global quite a while ago and you want to have him for this particular stage right here on this particular stage when we get special blinded and we get block orbs this is when we really want our a special now i do have two supports v1 rally and pv uh, not pv the quick beard to show you guys you can get around despair if you don't have sockets for whatever reason but i would highly suggest having sockets as you can just remove it that way on this particular stage we are going to use our a special here that way we can get a full border orbs through the block orbs and remove the special blind and then we can just punish them with a luffy special so we can just blitz our way through this particular stage on to the next stage we either come against robin or brook or zoro and chopper and every single time i've done this it's been against zoro and chopper God knows why, but it is what it is. What we're going to do on this particular stage here is we're going to use one of our Luffy super types, and that way we can get a two times attack boost to our entire crew. And with the super type, we can just absolutely destroy uh, Zoro and Chopper. We should still have some leftover orbs. I'd recommend hanging on to strength orbs on your Luffy's, as Luffy's never going to get blinded as they are your captains. Onto the final stage, we do get special blinded for four turns, and we get paralyzed. Now, on the previous stage, if you do come up against um, Robin and Brook, you can use the Usohachi special. Usohachi is also on this team as well, as he's a good way to proc the super typing as well as ace. On the final stage here, we can use our Boa special. Boa is going to remove the special blind that gets inflicted. She's also going to ro rotate our negative orbs. We're going to use then our Kobe to remove the paralysis. We can finish it off with our Luffy special and then our other Luffy super typing, so that way we can get an orb buff and an attack buff. And as you guys have seen in the last clip, if you have a full red team, it just absolutely decimates this particular piece of content. You don't even have to hit perfects, like it just, it does so much work. So that's the V2 Snake Man team. It does it stupidly well. Um, you can replace someone else with someone to uh, rotate block orbs and remove the special bind that gets inflicted on the, um, the fifth stage, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, they're completely replaceable with someone else, but they do work really, really well. If you do have um, the Sabo from Limited Rare Recruit, Lucy, uh, he works great there. And for the final team in this particular video, we are using the Pirate King, Goldie Roger, and pretty much, not his entire batch, but like, majority of his batch. Um, as mentioned in the last couple of clips and at the beginning of the video, the big things you guys want to get around is Special Blind and uh, paralysis and just make sure you have a threshold remover in case you come up against nami and brook on stage five you can also bring someone to remove bind if you need to but the bind isn't really not that not that big of an issue on stage three when we come up against usopp nami sanji and frankie we can make sure that well goldie roger is going to remove the despair as we don't have to worry about that um, but we do want to get around the special bind. So we, to get around the special bind on this particular team, we are using our good old friend Neko Mamushi, the one that came out with Goldie Roger. And because we are pretty much running all of Roger's batch, we can actually just use a Roger super type, and that way we can remove the block orbs. With that, we have the delay as well. We can just sort of tear our way through this, as we do have an additional chain buff, and that's all we really need to take out that particular stage. On to the next stage, we come up against... Oh, we did. We finally got uh, Robin and Brooke. Robin and Brooke put up Threshold for two turns. So that's why we have Rayleigh on this particular team. Rayleigh is going to basically remove that and give us a Color Affinity buff. Because we've kept our orbs from the previous stage, we can actually use our Odin special on this particular stage to get a full board of Wano orbs. We can use our Roger special for an attack buff as well as extending that orb buff and then finishing it off with the other Roger super type so we can lock those orbs and carry them into the final stage. And as you can see here, like this is just gonna be like whack, catch you later. 
Moving into the final stage, we have, we're keeping our Wano Orbs, which is great, but we also get our specials blinded for four turns, and we do get five turns of Paralysis. So this is where we also get Gloom too, but we don't have to worry about that with Roger. This is where the Stampede Buggy comes into play. Stampede Buggy is an excellent rare recruit, as he is actually going to remove all of those nasty debuffs. We do have the support of uh, Clash Zora here for a color affinity boost for our slashes, basically just for Odin. But if you didn't need to use the um, Rayleigh special on the previous turn, you can always use that here for an extra color affinity buff. But as you can see, like this is no issues taking these guys out. So there you guys go. There were the four teams that I just quickly put together to take down this 40 stamina event. As I mentioned, it's not overly tricky to get through this piece of content, but I thought I'd put out the video for you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to belt that like button. And if you want to stay up to date with more OPTC content I post, hit the big red subscribe button too. But guys, most importantly, enjoy the rest of your day. As always, I thank you guys for watching and I will catch you all in the next one. Lights!